Let's speak briefly about two forms that ancient forests had to deal with the swordsmanship on the other side uh, when they were just uh, with their bare hands. It's quite known that in ancient Japan, along its history, uh, sword or the katana was the most important weapon uh, in the samurai class and furthermore it would be the most used weapon uh, amongst all of them. And it's quite known that uh, different schools developed uh, many different ways to, to fight against or to deal with an armed uh, foe, an armed enemy with the katana when they had nothing but their bare hands. There are many particular studies for this matter. Uh, one of them is called Shinken Shirahadori. This Shinken com comes from real sword, uh, Shiraha comes from naked blade and Dori to, to take away. And um, within this, this matter, there's a very particular, uh, there are two actually very particular forms which are both called uh, Shu Tetsu and Shu Seki. Shu from Te or hand and uh, Seki is the kanji for stone. Uh, and Tetsu, on the other hand, goes for iron or steel. So, what these ex expressions suggest is that they would use somehow uh, pieces of iron or steel, and they would also carry uh, stones or pick them as they would find, because actually, uh, historically speaking, it would be used by warriors which um, had a daily basis, you know, very close or uh, even uh, in the middle of forests. And so, a very particular aspect of it is that uh, by the night, you know, when troops came or, or, or when enemies came and tried to approach them, and they would carry stones in a very specific way in their hands, so they, they would make sure that every strike, every hit, every impact would be quite well put, well fit. Uh, they had developed some forms in which they would strike, they would attack, and they would uh, be able to, uh, to cause a huge damage in many uh, points of their bodies. And so when, uh, well, historically, as it said, when other foes or other enemies would come and would see them, they would think, they wouldn't actually have an idea of how uh, enemies could do it so fast, so, so quickly. And of course, they could also uh, run away and, you know, uh, get themselves pretty well hidden and so it would look like or it would be suggested that uh, even some, some kind of uh, supernatural power would be with them. But, uh, well, stories apart, what is known is that both these studies or these methods would consist in holding in their, in their hands pieces of, of iron or stones and striking some particular points, as we shall see. You'll see a bit about some field studies that are uh, that are seen under this this signature or this or, or this subject. What we'll see is that stones or pieces of iron, uh, they were also they're always pretty well hidden from the from the opponent. So, uh, especially by night, it would be quite difficult for them to know uh, what would be about to happen. So, one of the positions uh, which actually differ from uh, classical jujutsu from kung from Kopo and makes this position very particular to this kind of study are the hands quite close to the to the head, the elbows very close to the to the body, and that the whole base is a bit lowered. So what he would see would be just a small and compact volume of of body, and so he wouldn't be able to uh, choose very carefully which which target he would aim. So for instance, let's let's suppose he enters in a makogi. So as we are quite close to him, we would, we would strike both hands, we could strike hands from many angles, we could strike, we could enter and uh, catch his arm and we could cause injuries of this nature, we could let him uh, out of action and yet continue under face, under neck, over shoulder, over elbow, hand, we could, try, we could make him believe that he would find us, and he would always come very, very near to us, and then fingers, fingers, 
fingers. We would have ribs. We would have genital, knee from inside, from outside, from the front. You'd have foot, ankle, hips, the tip or the point of the hips, back of the head, top of the head, shoulder. But these are only targets. Uh, this kind of this kind of atemi, as one could say, was always uh, used also with kinds of uh, takeaways, we could say. So, for instance, on a pole, as you enter hitting, 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 hitting. And some, uh, we could say some flyaways were studied too. So we could have as this a brief and general overview of Shu Tetsu and Shu Seki. <laughs>